Kumicho YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Commemorative Series 1 Autobot Ultra Magnus. This is the 15th anniversary series, so let's go ahead and show you. Good old G1 Transformer esque. That is Ultra Magnus, the same from the side, from the top, or sorry, from the bottom. Here's a side view, I already showed you that transformation sequence, which I'm probably going to reference so I can actually do it correctly because I'm not going to open up the instruction booklets. There is Optimus Prime and Hot Rod. For legal issues, we can't call them Hot Rod anymore. Rodimus Major, yeah, what a joke. Here's the iconic little scene. Not bad looking, Metroplex, Trypticon, and hiding over in the quarter is Ultra Magnus. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, there's his stats. I mean, he was a beast made in 2002, Hasbro. There's his bio if you want to read it, pause it, do what you got to do. Eh, it's just a box. So let's uh, show you what we got over here. I got a little hot, hot rod in the back here. Barely fits in there. So I'm just going to take it. I mean, there's a ramp that he just slides in there. And it was meant for deluxe classes. This guy barely fits in there. And I have to actually slam it in just so he, he doesn't fit in there. But he was meant to carry... Uh, what do you call that? Deluxe size vehicles. And I mean, it rolls over very well. Has a little wheels over here. Made of rubber, as, a, as you know, I absolutely love. This is a 15th anniversary series. One thing I don't like about the cab is it doesn't really tab very well. You have this, it just kind of sits in there. Uh, that kind of tabs in these little pieces were just meant to, so, to rest this top part. This is the big robot's hands, actually. I'll just keep a hot rod in there. So, I mean, it's okay, I guess. You're looking good. Sharp ridge, baby blue, or teal blue, and a white cab. And just to look at the cab, and I'm just going to gripe a little bit because that aren't, these aren't smokestacks. Look at that. That's pathetic. I have a G1 toy, and you can tell it's old because it's dusty. See, just the difference of how big the tabs or the smokestacks were back in the day those are nubs you know because i guess kids are sissies today and I, they can't avoid getting your freaking getting poked in the eye so you know how these toy makers are they're fearing lawsuits and everything so but anything else everything else is just like optimus prime you got the grill over here you transform just like anything else optimus prime you remember how to transform them is easy just flip them down over here aren't you there we go Flip out, flip out his arms, has nice little articulation in the arms, and that's his head. That's what I like about Ultra Magnus. You can put his little fists over here, white little fists. I mean, he's he's freaking, he's white. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done this in a white background, but I like the white background, darn it. So, as far as articulation, his head does not rotate. It's molded in there. Very Optimus Prime. Let's face it, this guy is Optimus Prime. And I'm going to transform Optimus Prime since I already have him over here. And since it takes me a few seconds. There we go. Oh, man. 25-year-old toy is going to take a little bit of... So there's Optimus Prime. And there's Ultra Magnus. So there's his fists. You know, he's white. Has the same articulation. Shoulder moves 360. Ooh, I like the satisfying click of that shoulder moves in and out has a bicep swivel or elbow swivel single jointed elbow wrist swivel uh, no waist articulation knee does bend and it does have that pivot so there it is slightly bigger than the look size looking good so let's see what else we got oh yeah let's transform the cab because he's ultra magnus he's not supposed to be like that so one thing I forgot to mention, it does come with a sticker sheet. And as you can see, 669, so it's Japanese, and an instruction booklet. But I really don't need the instruction booklet. Just uh, hold my breath here. Okay, there's the cab. Uh, it is what it is. All you got to do is make sure that <laughs> it transforms. Now, let's see if I remember correctly. I set this sucker up, get rid of the missile launchers, which launch. All right, I'm going to set that up, right? Gonna split these arms apart, and there's a chest piece. Uh, you don't. I just leave it in there. I mean, you don't need to have it, but you know, I'm putting it in right now. And of course, don't do that. And it clicks on really good, really well. 
push arm, arms up all the way up. Same thing with the other arm, just like that. All right, we're looking good. Legs just fold up. Make sure you put these little tab pieces in, yeah, just like that. Oh yeah, it clicks up and really satisfyingly. 90 degrees up. Oh, it's a big dude. Oh, dare I say he's leader class. Dare I. <laughs> We're gonna transform old boy back into somewhat of a cab mode, take his little fists out. So yeah, this dude just make him into a cab. Legs really don't, I don't think we need to put them back. But we're gonna put him, put his little feet down and old boy just tabs in. And he's got this second waist piece, this waist piece is for us so the cab can roll around. Now, see these tabs right here? These holes will mate with that. So, yeah, there we go. Just snap it in there, snap his legs down, and he fits in there. All right, where was I? He's got his head. Snap that sucker right on top. There we go. And we got a couple of fits. One thing I forgot to mention too is that he does come with a gun and it don't fit in the little robot's hands but he's got this bigger robot hands here that it'll neatly fit. It's not a 5mm peg or anything like that so you can put it in either of the dude's arms. So pop that sucker in. One fist. Two fists. There you go. Oh yeah, and don't forget the cod piece. You get two of these for some reason. Cod piece just goes right here. Waste piece, whatever. Yeah, what a freaking brick. <laughs> hey, if you want my honest opinion, there he is. He's a freaking brick. Just so you can get him with... Oh, now that uh, old boy's fists are missing, I can put... There we go. Yeah, he looks weird with that. There he is with G1 Optimus. Deluxe size figure. As you can see, he's pretty towering. So this is like a leader class. There he is with a Voyager. Let's see, how tall is this bad boy? Yeah, like nine inches. So he's almost uh, he's almost in par with a leader class. Oh, that's all right. Let's show you for articulation because it's pretty darn silly. You can tell the dude's head barely. I mean, very. You don't have eyes. I mean, yeah, it's hollow. I don't know if you can tell, it's hollow. Put it on there, it doesn't rotate, it just goes on top of Ultra Magnus. I love the ratchet joints on the shoulders. I really love that satisfying crunch. It does have a bicep swivel, it has a single joint. On elbow, waist, or sorry, wrist swivel. No waist articulation, same thing on the other one. Has this small, smallish gun. No waist, no feet, nothing, it rolls. I love the rubber wheels, you know how I'm a big fan of it. So there you go. Oh, what a brick. Ultra Magnus, not nearly as cool as, he never will be, not at least on the toys. And this toy, the G1, is just a pale, pale comparison. Uh, yeah, it just irks me. One thing I forgot to mention is also it comes with these missiles. It does fire, trust me. Or you don't have to trust me. I showed you right there. And if you would like, you can just put them right here. You just tap in. Trust me, man. This could have been a cool, cool mother, you know. <laughs> but I, I don't know what they were looking for with the toy. He could have been so much more. I'll give him a 5 out of 10 for his brickish appearance. But other than that, I mean, the alt mode looking okay, uh, 6 out of 10. Uh, Ultra Magnus is just a rip off of Convoy, Optimus Prime there. Alright YouTubers, all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.